hi great and beautiful people of god you welcome to my channel How have you been oh good this is blessing a here winner tv a great channel full of god's word prayers prophecies word of knowledge here we have the whole of the bible on audio playlist subscribe touch the bell and stay with us god bless you we'll look at a great bible verse today the bible is a great book full of god's word the bible contains god's word and god's word is powerful amen let's look at uh, jeremiah 29 11. the lord says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope hallelujah plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope god bless you hallelujah this is the plan that god has for you in case you are wondering does god have a plan for me yes it does this is its plan it says plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope some translation have it differently praise god it said to bring you to an expected end it's a plan of good and not of evil that what god asks for you so if you have been wondering does god have a plan for me do i have a plan at all in this life yes you do have a plan god has a plan for you and god has a purpose for you pray to god to reveal to you the purpose you were born and they will reveal it and then you will begin to fulfill it because you are born for a reason you are special you will look and deliver that thing that god wants you to deliver to the world that voice of yours is unique to the world there's a message that god wants you to pass to the world pray that god will open your eyes to, to know it so you can start it and apart from that god also have a good plan for you and all the plan god have for you are of good not of evil to bring you to an expected end so wherever you are right now in life if you are not yet there don't worry. You will get there in Jesus' name. Be patient. Keep serving the Lord. Keep worshipping the Lord. Keep believing. Keep doing God's work. And when you, if you know God's purpose for your life, fulfill it. Do it. And everything will be okay. Do not give up your faith. Do not give up in life. For surely, you will arrive at your destination. You will fulfill your destiny. If you have faith and you keep on holding on to God's word, God bless you. So what God has for you is of good, not of evil. I pray for you today in Jesus' name that in your life you will experience that good of God that, that God has planned for you in Jesus' name. I pray you will not be discouraged in life in Jesus' name. I pray you will attain that higher height that God has for you in Jesus' name. And you put your hands to do shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not fail. You will not be ashamed. You will not be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. The plan of God for your life, the plan of God for your life will manifest, will be fulfilled in your life. And it's a plan of good, not of evil. The Bible says, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, you have no sorrow. As God blesses you, that blessing will be rich, there will be no sorrow added. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mataka basote. Thank you, Father God. I pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel. Touch the bell. Stay with us. Share this video. I will see you next time. And if, if, I, if I, I go, I want you to give your life to Christ. If you are not yet born again, you are watching me. Give your life to Christ. To be born again is the best thing that can happen to you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, today I accept you into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I believe that for me. You were buried. On the third day, you rose again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I am now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. In the prayer was said, you are now born again. Start going to a Bible teaching church. Subscribe to the bell. I'll see you next time. Bye.